Hi everybody, if you're like me and you appreciate your history, you're gonna love this edition of New Ways to Play. 5,000 years of rich, magical, mystery history surrounds us here on this island in the middle of the Mediterranean. Where are we? Malta. Throughout history, Malta's location has given it great strategic importance, and a series of world powers have all ruled the island at some time, making it very distinctive. From Indina, Malta's first capital city, to the ancient megalithic temples, Malta has it all. Walt Disney even built a village here for a film production, it's true. And the traditional Maltese dishes, well, let's just say, you don't want to miss them. There's a beautiful shot everywhere you turn. This is the Upper Baraka Gardens, built in the 17th century for the knights that were ruling this island at the time. This was their respite, full of beautiful gardens, these amazing kind of Romanesque arches. And as old as this is, and it's pretty historic, this is nothing. Wait till you see what we're gonna show you later on. Medina's nickname is the Silent City. I just say it's a cool city. Fortified by bastions, the city withstood every invader's attempt to breach it, and the views from its ramparts are absolutely breathtaking. A mix of medieval and Baroque architecture and its fortification walls make it one of the most enchanting places on the entire island, or <laughs> really one of the coolest places I've ever seen. So for those of you who watch this show on a regular basis, you know I basically like to eat. Okay, I love to eat. So we had a couple of choices here on Malta. We could have traditional rabbit at a traditional cafe, or we could go to the number one restaurant on the island and have their version of rabbit. Yeah, tough choice. We decided to come here at the Jara Palace in Emdina. Kevin, you know, you know what I've been told? Yes. I've been told that your restaurant? Yes. Voted number one restaurant and all of? Yes, for the past three years. Really? Yes. yes. Number one restaurant on the yes. entire island, your restaurant. Yes. You yes. know what we do in America? We do this, yes. and, then, no, and then we do this. Okay. Yeah. Let's go, this is shellless. What we've did here, we wash the snails. Yes. Then we cooked it for two hours. Mm. I must try this now. Yes, definitely. One, one little, one little, may I? Yes, definitely. Let's go. Like it? Mmm. Superb. That's a nice leg. Oh, rabbit. Traditional Maltese, done the right way. And now, the dessert I heard so much about. Oh yeah. <clears throat> One more interesting fact about Indina. Only 420 people live here year-round. That's what we like to say is an exclusive neighborhood. All right, time to take a little break from all the history of Malta. Now open up your cupboard, grab a can of spinach. That's right, I said spinach. Why would you need spinach when you're on Malta? Well, you don't need it, but it certainly leads to one of the most interesting places that you can visit on this island, Popeye Village. Yep, that's right. Right here on the picturesque shoreline of Malta's beautiful coast is a tribute to Popeye. Sweet Haven Village, also known as Popeye Village, was the film set of the 1980 musical production of Popeye. Constructed in Anchor Bay, the authentic wooden village imported tree trunks from Holland and wood shingles all the way from Canada.
This is the 5,000-year-old Hajarim Temple. It is the best preserved of several ancient limestone temples in Malta. One noteworthy characteristic is its large upright stones, one of which weighs almost 20 tons. So who built the Hajarim Temple? The answer is a civilization that settled this island over 7,000 years ago. 2,000 years after they arrived, they built this very impressive edifice. Where did they come from originally? The Middle East. The Imnidra temples are three conjoined Neolithic temples on the southern coast of Malta, dating from about 3,000 BC. Malta is, of course, strategically located in the Mediterranean, which is why many famous people have spent time here. The Apostle Paul, Queen Elizabeth, Napoleon Bonaparte, among others, and of course, strategically located when it came to battles and wars and temples. Imagine if these walls could talk, the ceremonies that it's seen, the battles that they've been a part of. Very impressive indeed. Hope you've enjoyed this time on Malta. Shh, the Mediterranean's best kept secret.